Keenan, I know you were getting pretty close there at the end of the year. I know you don't go through the bowl game, but what kind of what kind of work can you get done during bowl prep to kind of help this team, maybe from a scout team perspective or just, you know, leadership, that type of thing? Yeah, just doing what, you know, kind of I've been doing all year, doing what I can, uh, whether that be on the, the scout team or just coaching up some of the players in the room or on the defense. I think just doing that aspect about most of my work being done in the uh, meeting room, I think is, is really helpful to the defense. When you were deciding whether or not to go for the waiver and try to come back next year, what, what were you envisioning that you could accomplish next season by coming back? Uh, I feel like, you know, obviously this season didn't want to get injured, didn't want to miss it, and it's kind of that feeling of, you know, want to finish, you know, why I came. And um, wasn't planning on being here another year, but excited to be a part of that. So just to come back and, and finish what I wanted to start and to have a good year here in Tennessee, that'd be amazing. Yeah, Keenan, where, where are you physically right now? I mean, obviously, you're not going to mm -hmm. play this game, so you've got time to get ready for spring practice and beyond. Where are you physically? What's your timeline in terms of kind of being back 100%? Yeah, I mean, I've been told uh, many times I'm, I'm really ahead of schedule um, for where the triceps should be. So I'm just taking that day by day and understanding I'm not doing the bowl game. So now I'm just trying to make sure I can get fully healthy um, as I progress along the way and not really rushing anything. So I'm um, getting stronger, getting back, feeling better. So I'm excited. Keenan, I'm, I'm curious. You transferred in here. What's your take and, and how did the guys feel when they see other fellas transfer out, you know, get into the portal, and end up maybe com uh, transferring to competing SEC schools? Yeah, we get excited. We know. Um, you know, a team may not have needs or a person might transfer in, and um, you get excited as a teammate to not only compete, but be able to learn from new players and be able to kind of gather their experiences because some of those transfer guys have played a lot of football. So I think it's exciting one way. And another part, you know, accepting those guys into the brotherhood is a big piece because they got to get used to this culture pretty quickly um, as they're coming to a new system. Keenan not being able to play, unfortunately, this year. What did you see from some of those younger guys, Herring, Carter, T. Lander, Perry? And uh, what have they done that get you excited to kind of work with those guys for another year? Yeah, man, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, I've said it before, but I feel like, you know, they didn't look like young guys out there, you know, what people would expect. They look like they've been playing the game, and I couldn't be more excited being a part of that room to see some of those young guys do that, especially fresh out of high school. To me, that's, that's big time. That's big time to have those big minutes. Some guys who um, got probably a lot more time than they were expecting to play in these big games in the SEC. So to see them succeed, to see them do what they do, I think it was a great learning experience, and it's going to help us into this next year as well. Being injured is obviously not great, but you kind of gain a new perspective looking at a broader view there. What did you learn during your time being hurt and away from playing? Yeah, I mean, probably just overemphasizing that, you know, any play can be your last play and um, trying to make that play the best play ever. So just keeping that mentality. Um, I've been injured before, and injuries are part of the game of football. So as you play the game, you just got to be grateful for those moments you have time you have with your brothers and you know every opportunity you get to play this game is, is a good opportunity. Keenan, what, what would you say as you were determining what you were going to do? What was the biggest draw to coming back? You said you, know, you probably plan to be here one season and, and then move on. Obviously the injury happened, but what was the biggest factor as you were trying to decide what you wanted to do and if you wanted to play here next season or, or take the next step? Yeah, I think diving into Tennessee, this, this program, it was really easy for me to say, man, I'd love to come back. You know, who wouldn't want to be here for another year? I think that had a big part, had to do with a big part of me wanting to come back rather than leaving. Um, say it all the time, but I love the coaches here, love the coaching staff, love the culture that was brought here, and love my teammates. And I think that's a big part of why I love being here, why I would want to come back another year as well. Keenan, when was the, the first time that you kind of had those conversations about the possibility of coming back? And what was the waiver process like as you went through that? Um, it was later in the year when I was making those decisions. But um, I knew I knew I had another year coming into Tennessee that I, had, I would be able to get a waiver from previous years. So I wasn't too worried about that. I just didn't really talk about it a lot that I had two years left. But I did have another year. Um, so it was pretty easy, I think, to get it.
you know, just how, how much did the coaching staff specifically have to do with you coming back, conversations you may have with guys on the defensive side? How much you know, did that motivate you to want to stay and be a part of the program? Yeah, I know these, these coaches, they have my, you know, the players' best interest. So a lot of the talks I had was, you know, pros and cons. You know, what would it be like coming back? What would it be like if you left? You know, how would all this work out? And I think those conversations I had with coaches and certain people really helped me in the long run to make a, a well-informed decision and something I'm comfortable with and excited about. You mentioned earlier in one of the questions about welcoming new guys in, uh, you know, and, and the culture here. Why for you has it been such a fit? I think you're on the leadership council. You're, in, you're a guy who had to come and learn the culture. Why is this fit so well for you here? Uh, I'll just credit that to the coaches and what they built from the beginning they came. Um, obviously, I wasn't here when they first came, but from the players that I've talked to um, since them coming here, you know, there's been a big switch in culture. You know, I think that's that's kind of why when I was on my visit, you know, I couldn't help but be like, oh yeah, I could I could play here, I could be here, and that's why I wanted to commit there. So I think um, just being able to understand that from the coaches is the big part. Obviously, you had a pretty good preseason camp, probably had high expectations for the season. You get hurt in the first game. I'm sure before you got into deciding what you were going to do, it was probably pretty hard, right? I mean, what, what were you kind of, who were you kind of leaning on to kind of help, help support you and get you through some of the, the toughest early parts of, of after the injury and, and get, you, get you through yeah. all that? A lot, a, lot of, a lot of players in the position room, I think, helped me early on. Um, I knew the injury was bad, uh, like right after the game, and I was pretty – down about that and, and you know, as quick as anybody else I seen anybody it was my it was the players that was picking me up um, from my position room and on our team so they've helped a lot um, me having my wife at home has helped a lot through the surgery process for sure but uh, just just staying close to my family staying close to the coaches and the team here has really helped me yeah yeah, I felt it happen in the, the first quarter. And, you know, as a player, you just, you're like, man, there's no way. And you just play through it. But I think the third quarter came. I was like, man, I can't barely move my arm. So I was like, eh, get it fixed. Thank you, Julius. Thank you.